What is up, everybody? It is I, Ronan, and today I'm coming at you with something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've been struggling with ideas for Yu-Gi-Oh! videos a little bit lately. Uh, not, not been the easiest thing to come up with, so I'm taking a little break from it. Maybe trying to switch up content a little bit, see how y'all like it. And uh, yeah, another hobby of mine just so happens to be Pokemon with the uh, new generation, Generation 8. So there's a whole new a whole new set of Pokemon. And uh, yeah, kind of just wanted to do some brand battles or OU. I'm thinking we do OU. I did a few warm-up battles, uh, got bodied in all of them pretty much. So this is either going to go really well or I'm going to look really dumb and you all get to be entertained. But for that, we're just going to do a quick view of sort of my the team that I have put together uh, so here we go so our mons are a banded Barrascuta a scarfed Dragapult a G-Max Ore Beetle with leftovers a Flame Orb Guts Obstagoon Sashed Excadrill and Rotom Frost with a Assault Vest uh, so the big sort of this is basically a web sweep uh, and the big part of that is our boy Ore Beetle here. Um, max bulk with mixed, defen mixed defenses, max HP. Uh, defense boosting nature, so both defenses are above 300. Uh, and yeah, basically, if it's uh, light screen, sticky webs, reflect in U turn. Essentially, you set up webs. If your Ore Beetle isn't too threatened, you set up screens as well. Then you U turn out into one of your threats, which is pretty much the rest of our team. Uh, we have Scarfed Dragapult with a uh, max attack adamant. And you might be wondering, why would you Scarf a Dragapult? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I wanted the fastest fucking Dragapult in the world. Okay, I wanted him to outspeed every other Dragapult. And because he's already very fast, plus the Scarf making him faster, he's, our boy is able to outspeed most things. And Oko pretty easily a lot of the time the infiltrator ability helps it get fine subs u-turn to switch out maintain momentum if we need it and the rest is stab stab coverage pretty much uh now we have our other sweeper in the form of choice band swift swim bear scuda it is a band like well as i said it's banded a uh, max attack max speed with a jolly nature so it is also quite fast and outspeeds basically everything in webs uh it hits very hard if you didn't know that about bear it it's very hard and it's very fast so uh, we basically just picked good stab coverage moves uh we also have obstagoon which is a really cool i actually really like this obstagoon set i put together uh so basically well i guess it's not a much of a original set but it's still really cool uh so Obstagoon is one of the things that you can switch into off of your Ore Beetle U-turn because Ore Beetle is a slow U-turn. I will get the burn at the end of the turn and under webs, it outspeeds most things. Uh, I think maybe like, again, a max speed Scarf Dragapult might outspeed it, but the majority of things in this generation, it will outspeed being Jolly Max Speed, especially under webs. Uh, again, it's Guts, so max out attack, so it hits very hard. Uh, I'm thinking of changing out Night Slash or Gunk Shot for maybe Sucker Punch? I'm really not sure. I haven't had a whole lot of time to mess around with a whole lot of sets for this. But uh, I like this set. It hits very hard, and it's very quick, thankfully, because of uh, webs. Uh, now for our spinner, we have the best spinner in the generation, uh, Excadrill with a sash it's got mold breaker obviously uh it's just three attacks rapid spin and rapid spin is a attack now so i do love that but yeah it's just a max attack max speed plus speed mostly so we can spin out hazards faster uh i do i do like this set a lot uh sash excadrill is always very cool uh in Gen 7, I ran a Life Orb Sword Stance Excadrill, but uh, I think Sash works better just because there are a lot of very hard-hitting Mons that 
will generally outspeed this, so maybe I should actually make that adamant. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if I should make this adamant, because that might be better. But uh, yeah, I can really just blow away a lot of things. Now for our last one, we have the absolute Ladlet himself, Rotom Frost, uh, max special attack with mixed defenses. Uh, yeah, essentially, he is just our tanky hard hitter. His whole... This whole deal is take it and then just do one of the big moves, the A V the assault vest, sorry, AV assault vest kinda blends together. Obviously puts him over 400 special defense with plus defensive nature, over 300 defense. Uh, HP is a little low. I might move some points out of special attack to put into HP later. Let me know if I should do that. I don't know if I should. But yeah, basically this can tank most hits for a while i did some stuff with a snow moth and while snow moth is a very good mon there's just too many physical fire types going around right now for it to be super helpful uh but yeah you know we have volt switch for the momentum shadow ball for coverage blizzard for just a really good really strong stab and dark pulse for more coverage but uh yeah that's pretty much our team uh it sort of depends how well it does and does not do. Like I said, with the warm-up games I did before this, I kind of got bodied. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Just uh, let's get into the first game. Let's find a opponent. Where is a opponent? Use oh, here we go. Okay, so let's see uh, Joey Donut's team here. Uh, okay, Dracovish, the Rotom... Okay, so uh, I honestly feel really safe leading Ore Beetle. The only thing he has that really threatens it is the Togekiss. Uh, so yeah, all right. So yeah, Theraform, trade hazards here. That's fine. I don't mind trading hazards. Um, I'm not super scared of it. Uh, he does have a very Shoot, he actually has a really well-mixed team here. Uh, he does have more special attackers, though. The Dracovish. I'm going to put a screens. Now, we're going to U-turn out of here anyways. So we can set up screens. U-turn out into Barrascuta, probably. Because uh, close combat from... Oh, the Mimikyu? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we can break the Disguise into Excadrill. Uh, yeah, so Disguise was nerfed, unfortunately, for that, but, uh, hmm, I mean, Bear Skewda hits really hard. Yeah, he put on the timer, that's fair. Um, I, I'd rather not lose the Sash on Excadrill, so let's go Dragapult for now, actually. A Dragapult behind screens. Alright, Swords Dance. We are faster, so I'm not terribly scared of a Shadow Sneak. Uh, let's go ahead and Phantom Force. Alright, yeah, so he's the big one. We dodge the Max Starfall, which is fine. Now we're still behind screens. Alright, so we Max Guarded. Phantom Force. Uh, honestly, I'd much rather just Phantom Force and stall out this Dynamax. Uh, you know, now he cannot max guard, so he's going to be taking the full brunt of this hit, and I'm pretty sure that will be a dead Mimikyu. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, so after this, depending on when he switches in, we probably will have to switch out. Uh, right, Rotom Wash. That is, in fact, a Rotom Wash. Uh, Excadrill... Take, I would switch an Excadrill, uh, but you could Hydro Pump. Could Hydro Pump. Um, or Beetle. This will test if he Hydro Pumps. Right. If he Volt Switch here, then I'm sad. Okay, Scarf though. All right, he Will O Wisp. Scarf into Will O Wisp. This man just scarfed himself into Will O Wisp. Okay, so yeah, he's going to switch here. We can set up a screen. 
All right, send a scorch. Uh, white smoke to get rid of that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, send a scorch is pretty special. Which is coiling. Oh, physical send a scorch. Is that a thing? I, I don't know. I I probably need to do more playing around with send a scorch. All right, so he's gonna fire lash, crit us through that. That's fine. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think Excadrill just comes in here. Hopefully being behind screens makes him strong enough because this thing does not like a rock slide. Uh, okay, Togekiss doesn't really like a rock slide either, so that's fine. Um, we are faster than it, assuming it isn't scarfed or anything though, so an Iron Head should kill here. Um... Yeah, okay, good. That's a another problem gone. Uh, Pharaoh. Ooh, Pharaoh, you are a strong boy. Um, do I just Earthquake here? I feel like I just... Uh, yeah, I feel like I just Earthquake here. If he switches in, what, Road and Wash, then that's... That's that. Uh, okay, we lost that, so let's go ahead and spin. Get rid of some hazards, speed up a little. If we can force him to reset up hazards, that's always a good thing for us. Alright, so the power whip is coming down. Uh, does he just finish off Excadrill here? That's... That's my question. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just try to get some damage on this Ferrothorn. Yeah, he just finishes off Excadrill here, that's fair. Um, okay, so... Barrascuda. Or, actually... Um... Let's actually go with Obstagoon for now. We'll go ahead and Obstruct to be safe. Uh, Obstruct is actually a, such a nuts move, though. Alright, Protected, we got our burn. And now let's go ahead and Night Slash, because Facade would be resisted. And, oh, okay, yeah, I forgot. That's fine, it goes down to another one, so... Sure, alright. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have our spinner, so we're kind of just going to have to deal with these rocks for the rest of this game. But we're in a fairly safe position here? Okay, so we know this is Scar, so it... It's definitely outspeeding us. Uh, probably just gonna click Hydro Pump. Like, our special defense isn't bad, I guess, but... Hmm, uh, this doesn't help me against too much, so I'm fine just leaving it in to die, I think. Uh, we... Okay, so we do have Rotom. Rotom definitely taking a Hydro Pump. And I do not mind just going for a bolt switch here. Yeah, so we're taking that Hydro Pump, getting some damage on the Rotom, and a Dracopult. This Dracopult just... Dracopult just goes in, pretty much. Uh, he doesn't have anything that wants to take an Outrage, so we can just click Outrage. <laughs> uh, yeah, outside of... Like, a miss? The Cyndascorch... No, it's still on high HP, so... Dracovish. Um, I'm fairly certain Dracovish just goes down. Yeah. Yeah, um, not... Yeah, like, uh, Cyndascorch... Possibly doesn't die. But it's not like it's a big deal. Um, yeah, there's the Fire Lash. We just... I guess, hope we don't get confused. I uh, just hope we don't hit ourselves in confusion. That, then we would, we just win. I am pretty sure. Uh, dang it, we hit ourselves in confusion. And he landed the power whip. Great, great. Um, alright, it's fine. We have Barrascuda, and Barrascuda's a bajillion times faster than the Simp Scorch. Uh, we just click... Not gonna risk the miss, so we click liquidation, and that is game, I think. 
Uh, Aqua Jet? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not clean Aqua Jet. So let's see what you do. Yeah, Bear Skewda is just liquidation. So, yeah, GG. Alright, there we go. So, that's a uh, one win. Um, that didn't take too long. I think we can do another game, but uh, let's do another one. I think. That'll, that'll be fun. So let's go back to the menu. Battle. Looking for the opponent. Looking for the opponent. Looking. Alright, here we go. Ooh, okay, this is a. Uh... Oh, there's the freaking. Uh, Corslow of an Eviolite. That's actually a problem. That thing is fat. Uh, but this is. Definitely looking like an obstacle in lead. This is. Yeah, I am... Well... Oh, he just left. <laughs> Alright, let's get a let's get a real opponent in here. Um, That might have been Orbeetle lead, actually. Uh, Obscure or Orbeetle. Okay, let's check this guy out. Um, okay. I feel like I've seen this team before. Uh, but let's... Uh, Bear Skew to friends a lot of his things. Bear Skew to seems like a good play here. Okay, Scythe and Toad? Yeah, I'm fine with this. Uh, I am... I am fine with this. Uh, Liquidation... Uh, Liquidation will do a chunk to anything on his team. Uh, I... Yeah, li let's go with Liquidation. Oh, he had Water Absorb. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was dumb of me. Uh, Alright then. This suddenly just became much more difficult. Uh... <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go into Orbeetle a little fast then. Water Absorb, like... Oh, I forgot Seismitoad got that. Alright. Uh, so it does have lefties though, switching to the Pharaoh. I do not mind trading hazards here. I'll get my webs. I don't think he has like a Defogger. Well, Corviknight might get Defog actually, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, like, I can just set up screens again against this. Uh, I'm U-turning out anyways, so... Like, once hazards are up, I... am not particularly bothered by... You know, this stuff, he's probably just gonna set up another layer of spikes. Uh, we U-turn out into Excadrill, probably. Yeah, Iron Barb's fair. We U-turn out extra drill. Extra drill will unfortunately be taking a ton. But uh, yeah, we just spin real fast. Get rid of those hazards. Uh, now, extra drill is, uh, is a little fine. Um, he's probably just going to reset hazards. So, Ferris Yuda is a perfectly fine switch here. Or it's not. Ooh, okay, but we lived. We lived. Uh, thankfully for the reflect. Uh, okay, so... This is, all in all, a fairly dangerous situation. Uh... Close combat? Oh, it had the chopple berry. Dope! Chopple! That's unfortunate. I didn't... Mmm, why'd you have a chopple berry? Okay, okay, it's fine though. Uh, freak. Okay, looks like Excadrill's kind of our best bet. Excadrill just click Earthquake, I guess. Uh, okay, that's a two-hit KO. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, Corviknight, awesome. All right, so we we're switching on this Corviknight. We do not want to deal with it. Um, it might... I imagine a Brave Bird is coming. Uh, it is a fairly fast Mon. Um, is... is there a chance we just sack Exodrill here? I I'll go and get some damage. I mean, maybe we flinch it. Who knows? Oh, yes! <laughs> Alright, sick. Uh, we flinched it. I don't feel safe switching out Excadrill. Okay, so we set up a sub? Alright, that's fine. I can... I can break a sub. I can I can break a sub. Oh, I don't break the sub. 
What? Okay. Weird. Um, shoot, I guess Corviknight's bulkier than I gave it credit for. Alright, so I'm just gonna bulk up here. Uh, yeah, we go ahead and switch into Rotom then. Uh, setting up a sub. Dandy. Uh, let's click Blizzard. Corviknight. Not a fan of Blizzards, from what I understand. Uh, and Blizzard should definitely break, break the sub. Alright, Darm? Okay, yeah. Fair. Uh, probably Scarf Darm. Probably Scarf Darm. We take pretty much any hit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Volt Switch out, I think. Alright, just don't flinch. There we go. Sick, sick. Uh, let's see. What do we know is faster? Uh, Dragon Pulse definitely faster. And he doesn't have anything that wants to take an Outrage, so let's go for Outrage. Why not? Uh, this this seems like a good play. Uh, Darm, obviously, huge threat. Uh, it has close to no defenses though, um, so we're we're a, we're fine. Even if it's Scarf, there's no way is faster than Scarf Dragapult. I don't think anything on his team is faster than Scarf Dragapult. <sighs> yeah, this is this is stressful. Yeah, so that's a dead Darm. Okay, I don't mind a dead Darm. Um, again, nothing really wants to take an Outrage. Like, Corviknight probably definitely can take an Outrage, but it, I don't imagine it wants to. Setting up a sub. Um, alright, that's fine. Switch in Ore Beetle. Um, it's probably just gonna bulk up. Um... I'm guessing it's faster than me, so I'm going to U-turn back into Dragapult. Wow, I'm faster than it? Okay. Alright, so we're dealing with a little bit of a slow boy here. A little bit of a slow, slow Corviknight situation. Alright, so he's going to ow. He's going to ow. That's what... Okay, uh... Phantom Force. Well, actually, we could Dynamax here, I think. Yeah, let's Dynamax into Max. Hmm, this is hard. Uh, let's just do a Max Worm Weird for now. I mean, it has the highest power with Infiltrator. So, oh wow, Jesus. Okay, you're. Wow, I'm underestimating Corviknight. Way too hard here. Um, I don't mind Obstagoon coming in on this. We go ahead and obstruct because... Well, actually... No, I think we Night Slash. I think we Night Slash. Uh... Good chance he roosts here, and I want to break the sub. Jesus, how... How fat is Corviknight? How fat are you, Corviknight? Alright, yeah, fair enough. Uh, Night Slash is not resisted, so we kind of have to keep going for it. Dang, this Corviknight, though. It's got mirror armor, which is unfortunate, but... God, Corviknight. We need to get damage on it, mostly. Oh, resetting up a sub, okay. Uh, he's probably just gonna keep bulking up. Ooh, what do we do here? Um, I don't want to switch Rotom in on a sub. That's the main problem I'm having right now. Like we, my, this is plus six. This is plus six. What are you, Corviknight? Uh, alright, let's go with Facade. I think Facade does more. Okay, let's let's click Facade. Maybe we crit. Well, okay, yeah, we did crit, but that still didn't do much. Um, on the bright side, we are 
faster my guess is he's waiting for us to why my god what is corvanite oh, my... god corvanite like that was two that was two oh, i just i do not want to switch him in on a sub all right uh, he's definitely going to sub again. Uh, Rotom. He set up a sub. Rotom might be able to break it. Uh... Okay, so we just Dynamax into G-Max Corviknight. And we missed the Blizzard. And we freaking missed the Blizzard. Mm, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, what is Corviknight? Alright, let's just... Maybe he flinches. No, he doesn't. He didn't flinch. God, this is... Alright. Corviknight, you're, you're freaking... In, you're, you're infuriating. You are a infuriating Pokemon, Corviknight. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just GG. God, what kind of bulk does Corviknight have? Yeah, this is... <sighs> oh, we're setting up a Reflect. We're setting up a Reflect. And it'll be fine. It will be fine. God, what is... I need a Fire Move. That's... I need a Fire Move. A special... Very fast fire move. <laughs> um, yeah, there's the brave bird. Okay. All right, so that's one win, one decimation on our half. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try one more. Let's just do one more. Okay, there's a Corviknight and a Dracovish. And this honestly... This looks like a bear skew to lead. So we know we need to preserve Rotom Frost. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right, Dracovish, uh, you are not as fast. Uh, what do I want? So I don't want to switch Dracopult in. That much I know. Orbeetle can probably take a hit. Orbeetle's fat. Okay, so it's scarfed. Good to know. Yeah, let's just go ahead and set up a web. Alright, so that is scarfed. So that's going to be much more speed than it would normally have. Um, if we live this, like, that's dope, but otherwise, like, webs are up, so that's fine. So it's confused. Dracopult comes in for sure and outspeeds, because we are cells are scarfed. He could fairly easily switch in that friend's model, though. Fuck it, let's go for the outrage. Yep, there's the Grimstar. Expected. So now he sees I have a scarf. Alright, Grimmsnarl, uh, you are a scary, scary Pokemon. But we have an Excadrill! Um, thankfully he is a little slower. Uh, yeah, but Gen 8, lots of fat boys, actually. Alright, so Gigantamax for the Max Knuckle, thankfully. Okay, didn't get to our Sash. I'm fairly certain we outspeed at this point, but at the same time... I have no idea how much this will actually do. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see how much it does. Uh, Iron Head. Okay, it didn't do much. That was pretty good damage. Uh, 50% wasted a turn of that. So, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Bear Skewda outspeeds and takes it out pretty easily. 
I'm just gonna go for the stab liquidation. That'll, I think that does more. All right, not enough. G Max snooze, great, fantastic. Uh, all right, Dracopult, go ahead and you turn. All right, dang it, what is this grim? Mmm, it had sucker punch. All right, Obstagoon, obstruct it. Well, actually, I could just take it out now, probably. Let's go for Night Slash. Night Slash should kill. There we go. All right, so in a very bad situation right now, uh, G-Max Grimmsnarl. Okay, much more threatening than I thought it would be. Uh, but it is fine. We're in a pretty prime sweeping position at the moment. Uh, we definitely have the potential here. Again, there is that Corviknight there, which is probably a problem, but we are thankfully not having to deal with the big one. Syndrace. Why did Syndrace not slow down? Oh, I bet it has the heavy-duty boots. I bet it has the heavy-duty boots. Um, it, does this mean it has a fighting move? <sighs> probably does. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into our big boy. Alright, court change. That's fine. Um, we have our big boy now. It takes almost anything. Dragpult? Uh, Max Sargas. Okay, miss the Draco. We... Yeah, okay. I don't know if Draco would have killed here, because Obstacoon's kind of fat. But, uh... Alright, Darm... Darm? Um... Hmm... Let's see. What do we do here? Let's see. Uh, I mean, they all do about the same, so I guess Max Darkness? Oh, it had Brick Break. So yeah, it's Scarfed. That's unfortunate for us. Uh, we do have Rone Frost, which definitely dies to a Brick Break. Uh... Hmm, I'm pretty sure Volt Switch is our best bet here. <sighs> okay. Alright, so, um... Oof, okay, that wasn't very good at all. Uh, we did get a win, but I feel like I definitely need to restructure this team. I would love to hear everyone's recommendations down below. Um, underestimated Grim Snarl. I was completely unaware of that Corviknight, because... Holy hell that Corviknight. What even was that? Like, so someone tell me what that side is, because I hadn't seen that before. And, like, I spent several hours testing this, like, a couple nights ago and last night, so... Yeah. Go... I don't know, just let me know what you think of this content. I enjoyed doing this. Um, let me know how I can improve this team, because I would certainly love to, because I do I do enjoy Pokemon a good bit. And, uh, yeah. That being said, like if you liked, comment if you have some insight, and subscribe if you want some more. This has been Ronan, signing off.